It's a party. Yeah, it's a party. Let's make a party. What else can you say? We have, I'll bring soda. I'll bring potato chips. I'll bring the seafood. I bring... I don't know. What can you bring to the party, Ari? You said seafood. Okay. What else? Beers. You're going to bring beers? Okay. But not for our noodle, right? No. Okay, for, not for our noodle. Arturo, what can you bring? I bring. Teacher, uh, how do you say el? Ese refrigerador mini. La alga con el. The what? La hielera. La hielera. Oh, okay. I'll bring potato chips. I'll bring a cooler. I bring cooler. A cooler. Okay. Nice, nice. All right. What? It's going to be very quiet. It's going to be very quiet. What can you do? Nothing? Guys, you are dead. What did you eat? Why are you so tired? Why are you so quiet? Huh? Arturo, what did you eat? What do I eat? What did you eat? I eat spaghetti with meat. Spaghetti with meat? Yes. Okay. Nice, nice. A lot or a little bit? A lot. Cool. And Ari, what did you eat? I eat chicken. Chicken. Well, how, how did you make the chicken? It's fried, frito, grilled, guisado. Pozole. Pozole? Pozole? No. So how did you eat it? So. So, okay, okay. Did your mom cook it? No. Yes, you guys are you guys are dead right now. Very quiet. Usually Arturo is very crazy. Yes. But right now, relax, man. It's like somebody gave you some medicine. Um, well, all right.
Yes? Yes. Okay. But I, I need you to participate so we can finish fast. Okay. All right. Now we can, we can finish the class early. Yes, it's possible. But we have to work fast. So when I ask a question, I need you to respond immediately so we can continue. Because remember, no se están grabando. Us, man. So we need to finish. So let's continue. Go to the next page. All right and okay. So we use all right and we use okay when you want to agree to something. Okay. Okay. When you want to agree to something. Like if somebody asks you for a favor, say yes. Like, Arturo, can I borrow your pencil? Okay. Boom. Yes, okay. All right. Can you help me with my homework? All right. Boom. It's just to say yes. Okay? So let's do this. Ari, read the instructions, please. Respond. Respond, the yeah. Respond to the questions we all right or okay and may and an offer with Ari. Then practice with a party. Okay, so you have to do two things, guys. You're going to respond to the question with all right or okay. One. And then you're going to make offer with I'll. Let me give you an example. Could you, could you take a look at my computer today? I think it has a virus. Could you take a look at my computer today? I think it has a virus. I can respond with all right or okay. All right, I'll come, I'll go to your house in two hours. Do you understand? Okay. Primero tengo que decir que sí, usando all right or okay, después tengo que ofrecer algo con I'll. So all right, I'll go to your house in two hours. Could you take a look at my computer today? I think it has a virus. All right, I'll go to your house in two hours. Number two, Arturo, read it, please. Can you call me something this weekend? I need to ask a favor. Yes, can you call me sometime this weekend? What can you say? Okay. Okay. I... Call. On Tuesday. <laughs> but she says on the weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. I call on Friday, Sunday. Okay, I'll call you Sunday. Very good. Now, I want you to finish number three and number four in your book, okay? And in two minutes, we will check the answer. It's okay? Arturo Ari? Yes. Okay, I will be waiting two minutes, okay?
Inus. Teacher. Teacher. Ah. El teacher no está. Pues. No de joya. ¿Qué le pusiste en una tres? ¿Yo? Sí. Ay, yo voy a ir contigo a buscar, a comprar la cámara. I go with you to go to the camera. mi sala de los niños. Escuchas la música. I want to buy a digital camera. Can you help me choose one? All right. I will do. I go to help. Okay. Nice. Nice. Arturo. Man. For a no for B and Ari for A. I'm going to paint my permit next week. Could you help me? Okay. I'll bring my costume to paint. My costume? Yes. But it's not Halloween, man. No, no, no. My clothes to paint. My clothes to paint. 
Bingo. Bingo, bingo. Okay. So, like I said, let's finish fast. Yes. All right. So, promises, promises. 3A. Listen to Mike and Jill organizing a class reunion. What does each of them say they'll do? Complete the sentences. Okay, so a class reunion is when the when the students graduate, and maybe five or ten years later, they reunite. They come together, get together. They have a little small party, right, to see how everybody is doing. Oh, you're fat. Oh, you're skinny. Oh, you have kids now. Oh, you have a big career. Oh, you have money. You know, it's to see your friends after high school or after college. Una reunión. So, I want you to listen and write what each of them says they will do. I will help you with number one, number two, but the rest you need to do on your own, okay? Yes, teacher. All right, please get your pencil ready. Listening and speaking. Promises, promises. A, listen to Mike and Jill organizing a class reunion. What does each of them say they'll do? Complete the sentences. Are we going to have a class reunion again this year? Oh, yeah, sure. But last year, it wasn't so great. I mean, not many people came. Yeah, but that's because we just called everyone the day before. If we call everyone earlier, more people will be able to come. All right. Well, it's only a month away, so we should start organizing it. Okay. So I'll call or email everyone this week. I still have the list from last year. Okay. Do you want to have the reunion in the park again? Yeah. And this time, I'll remember to bring the barbecue stuff. I promise. Good. Last year, we couldn't cook anything. Okay, so we are, we are done with the first two. Did you understand it? No. Oh. Ari? Um, no, entendí un poco la segunda. Let me rewind it one more time. People came. Yeah, but that's because we just called everyone the day before. If we call everyone earlier, more people will be able to come. All right. Well, it's only a month away, so we should start organizing it. Okay. So I'll call or email everyone this week. Number one. Send email. Jill says she or what? Send email. Uh huh. She or email or what? Or call everyone. So call or Email everyone. Very good. That's the number two. I still have the list from last year. Okay. Do you want to have the reunion in the park again? Yeah. And this time, I'll remember to bring the barbecue stuff. I'll barbecue. Still remember what? Oh. Barbecue stuff. The barbecue stuff. Yeah. Right now, number three, four, five, and six is by yourself. Okay, it's by yourself. But let me give you the options so it can help you. All right. One option is digital camera. Another option is with her credit card. 
another option is order the food. Another option is do the cooking. Another option is CD player. And the last option is burn anything. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six options. And in the, in the exercise, we have six blanks. Two and three, one blank in number four, one blank in number five, and two blanks in number six, okay? So these words on the left are your answers, but you need to listen and put them in the correct space. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. I promise. Good. Last year we couldn't cook anything. I know. I know. And if I forget, then we'll just have to eat potato chips and salad like last year. Yeah, right. Well, let's think about the food. Well, I'll order the food online. Our local grocery store delivers right to your house. Huh. That's convenient. Well, good. Yeah. And I'll pay with my credit card. And then everyone can give me $10 or something for the food. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, well, if you organize the food, I'll do the cooking. Well, all right, I guess. What's wrong with that? Well, when you had a barbecue last month, you burned everything. Remember? Oh, come on. I don't usually do that. Okay, I'll try not to burn anything. All right. What else? Oh, I know. Would you mind bringing your digital camera again? Then we can take photos of everyone and email them. Okay. I won't forget that. I promise. And I'll bring my CD player, too. Okay. But please don't bring any folk music this time. Bring something everyone will like, like rock or pop or something. Okay. Well, I guess that's it then. It'll be fun. Yeah. Let's just hope everyone comes this year. One more time, or are you good? I good. Ariana, are you good? Yes. Right. So what do you have for number three, Ariana? Order the food online and pay with the credit card. Mike says. Number four. Mike Hello. says hell to the cooking. Excellent. Five, Ari. He says he'll try to not burn anything. All right, and six. He promised he won't forget to print his digital camera and his CD player. You have good, you have good listening, guys. Excellent, excellent. So, in this lesson, we practice two things. What did we practice? Promise and offers. Promise and offers? Well, that's considered one thing. Promises and offers, and then what? Look at this page. All right, and okay. All right, and okay. And why do we use all right and okay? Do you... Do when you agree... When you help at your friends or family? You agree. Very good. Yes, and exactly. Like when you want to help your friends or family. Excellent.
right. So can we continue? Yes. All right. Great. It is 7.26. Time is going fast. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. In the future. All right. In the future. Brainstorm. What will life be like in the future? What do you think life will be like in the future, guys? Will it be better or will it be worse? Did you understand me or no? No? Que como será la vida en un futuro? Uh -huh. Yeah, like what do you think? You think it will be better or worse? Better. Better? Why? For the technology. Okay, better because of the technology. Let's make a list. What am I doing? Things that will be better and things that will be worse. Okay, Miss Ari said that something that would be better is the technology. Okay, what else do you think will be better in the future? Or worse? Give me some ideas. The future. The future. ¿Qué será mejor en el futuro? ¿Qué será peor? Peor. Contamination. <laughs> contamination. Contamination. Okay, pollution, right? Pollution. Okay. Arturo, any ideas? Yes. Things that will be worse. Tell us. Mm. 
Number Pink. Things that will be better. Fresh, a lot of. Wait, no, no, no. wait, no, no. Translation, translation. The brakes, the officios, that will be the brakes. The officios, the brakes. Careers. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. yes. The careers will be better. Okay. That's true. But in general, in general, do you think life, la vida, will be better or worse in the future? Like in 10 years, in 2030, do you think it'll be better? Or worse. Worse, the streets. Worse? Yes, ah, yes. the streets. see what we can let's see what they talk about let's take turns paragraph paragraph no let's popcorn so I want you to read minimum two sentences and then you say popcorn and the next person reads it's going to be me Ariana Arturo me Ariana Arturo me Ariana Arturo okay Going to popcorn. So, read the article. Which predictions did you already know about? Which were new? What will life be like in the future? Body and health. Health watchers predict that in many countries, people will get taller. We will also get heavier. This is because we're eating more junk food and exercising less. Popcorn. However, we may not have to diet in the future. Scientists are working on a device to break down, but with ultrasound. Let's hope for popcorn. Oh, my, mi turno is, yes, yes, online all the time, before long, we'll all be on the web, all the time, everything around us, including clothes, jewelry, and even glasses will contain devices that connect us to the internet, for example, with tiny cameras in your sunglasses, you'll be able to take a picture or a movie and send it to a friend. Very good, very good. Yeah. So you say, you say popcorn.
Digo. Yes. How to make homes that technology is already here, but by the 2030s to, yes, most homes will be fully automated with computer chips in most appli appliance, appliance, you'll be able to turn on the heat or the lights, lights just be making phone call at home. Scanners in your smart refrigerator will read. The park goes on food package and then tell you when the food goes bad. Even better, your refrigerator, refrigerator will go online to, to order more food when you run out, no more grocery shopping. Work and play. Yes, see, go. Yes, okay. Eso es para que tú digas popcorn. Ah, popcorn. <laughs> okay. Ah. Work and play. In 20 to 30 years, only 20% of people will work in an office, and more of us will work from home. But that doesn't mean we'll be able to just watch TV all day. With video phones and webcams, the boss will be able to keep in touch and see exactly what we're doing. Uh-oh. You may not have to communicate to work, but if you want to drive on the weekend, you'll have to use a smaller, environmentally friendly car, reserve road space in advance, and pay road charges. Popcorn. More brain power. Science says they'll be able to build a computer that is like a human brain by 2020. Robots with these artificial brains will do many jobs that humans do today. Road travel should become safer because cars will operate themselves. Stop car. So by 2000 theories, there won't be any more car accidents. We'll be able to put computer chips into a human brain to make us popcorn. Harder and increase our knowledge. But soon, computers will become more intelligent than people. Some futurologists predict that by 2050, computers may even take control of our lives. Scary. Huh? So, let's talk about these things, guys. Remember, this is an old book. This book is from 2005. This book is from 2005. So, you know, this book is 15 years old. It's, this book is older than Arturo and almost the same age as you, Ari. So, imagine... 2015, they are making predictions about the future. Well, today is the future. What things do they mention in the article that we have in real life right now? Huh? Uh, the light like just by making a phone call home. What? Where are you at? Oh, you'll be able to turn on the heat and the lights by just making a phone call home? Oh yeah, that's true, right? We have a smart lights where you can go to an application and activate your lights, right? Crazy. And what what other things do they mention in the article that we have today? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But 
Cacau Overwatch. Human brain, no. Build a computer that is like a human brain. Robots with these artificial brains will do many jobs that humans do today. Yes. Yes. I don't know if you have, have you seen those robots? that can talk like human? Have you seen those robots? Yes. Like the robot Sophia? Ah, yes, yes, yes. That person or that robot is very intelligent. She can learn you. If you have a Sophia in your house, she can learn you. She can learn you. She will learn how you are. She will learn what you like. She will learn your favorite food. She will learn the music you don't like. She will learn like a human. But better because our brains are bad compared to a robot. A robot, they don't forget because it's a memory card. We forget because our cells die. So robots are pretty much intelligent just like us. Yes. Uh huh. And we also have, um, look at this one, online all the time. Before long, we'll all be on the web all the time. Everything around us, including clothes, jewelry, like the smartwatches, mm -hmm. and even glasses. I don't know if you've seen, there are some glasses that have a camera right here. You can take pictures. Yes. Yes, and even the clothes, man, the clothes. They connect to the internet. Yes. The, clo the clothes with Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, wi yes. The clothes with the with the with the speaker with a charger. Ah yes yes yes. Or the ones that can the ones that can um, relax your body depending on your temperament. Mhm. Mm it's all good, man. Next. Next. Next to white. Uh, next to. All right. So, Ari, read the instructions for exercise C. Read the article again. Check the predictions. The article notes. Very good. So, number one, people will get taller, but they'll also get fatter. Is that, did the, does the article mention that? Yes or no? No. No. Are you sure? No. Get no. So, no check. Yes, check. Check. Okay, what about number two? People will probably use ultrasound to lose weight. No. Look at the article, Arturo. Yes. Check. Yes. Very good. Number three, everyday items will connect to the internet? No.
Yes. Number three, yes, check. Yes, check. What about, yeah, because everyday items like jewelry, clothes, etc. No, no check. This is no check. Number four, computers and refrigerators will choose our food for us. Check no. or no check? No check. No check. Very good. And number six. It's five. Oh, I got your attention. Yeah. It's number five. Check. Check. Number six. No check. Why? Why, Arturo? Wait, wait, wait. Check. No check, very good. Why, Ari? We cannot listen. Okay, and number six. Check. Check. All right, very good. All right, guys, we are done with the lesson. Um, now, let me, let me talk to you, okay? For, for this, for this book, you know, we are finished. We're finished with this book. Next week, we are going to take the exam Okay, I'm going to send you a link and you're going to take the exam. Um, and then we're going to do a project, all right? Now, I am going to tell you what the project is. All right, guys, are you ready? Please get your notebook so you can write down these instructions. Okay, Arturo, are you ready?
Arturo, do you have PowerPoint on your computer? Yes. Ari, do you have PowerPoint? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. So you know, this is what you can do. You know, your your first slide can be, you know, puede decir mis planes y metas para el futuro, my goals and plans for the future. Um, es su nombre, no? Fernando Gatica, nivel dos. Fernando Garica, level two. ¿Cómo puede ser el título, teacher? ¿Mande? ¿Cómo puede ser el título? Puedes decir, my goals and plans for the future. My goals and plans? My goals and plans. Uh -huh. Ah, my goals. Mm -hmm. Y en la primera puede incluir la foto de ustedes, ¿no? Porque es me, mm -hmm. my. Y ya en la segunda, la segunda, si vas a hablar sobre tu job, pues puedes incluir una foto de tu job. Puedes buscar una foto en, en Google, ¿no? Si quieres ser un doctor, puedes buscar una foto de doctor y, y pon tu oración. Um, when I finish high school, I'm going to study medicine. I want to be a doctor. Okay, y pones una foto de doctor. Y tal vez puedes explicar por qué. Y voy a arreglar esto. De 10 a 15 oraciones. Um, y no va a ser un párrafo, obviamente. No sabía que tenía PowerPoint. Mejor en PowerPoint. Um, 10 a 15 oraciones y cada... ¿Cómo se llama eso? Cada slide va a tener... Una, dos, tres oraciones y, de lo, y una foto de lo que se trata la oración, como eso de la, del doctor. When I finish high school, I'm going to study medicine. I want to be a doctor because I want to help sick people. Y puedes poner una enfermera o un doctor ayudando a una persona enferma. Okay. Okay. When I am 40 years old, I'm going to buy a big house with 10 bedrooms so I can put my family in the house and puedes poner una 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 pequeña casa grande you know something like that okay and you know don't forget to study don't forget to study okay okay because the exam is next week and the project is next week all right 10 11 12 Okay. Well, guys, thank you. Thank you. Again, thank you so much for the Teacher's Day thing, okay? Happy Teacher's Day. Happy Teacher's yes. Day. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being my students, all right? Uh, it's a pleasure to be working with you, all right? I will see you next Friday. If you have any doubts, send a message to the group, okay, Arturo? Okay, Ari? Yes. Right. See you. Have a good night and a good weekend. Bye.